Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel, Technology World. Do you know which network function is responsible for verifying the identity of subscriber? Or do you know which network function determines the appropriate security context for the subscriber? Yes, in today's session, we are going to discuss about the AUSF, one of the most important network function of 5G core. Okay, so today's agenda is we are going to discuss about the functionalities of functionalities of AU SF. In the last session, what we have discussed, we have discussed about the AMF. How AMF is connected with other network functions? What are the main functionalities of AMF? What are the different interfaces we are using for the connectivity with the other network functions? So here we are also taking as a reference architecture for the point to point architecture, right? So you can see here the AUSF is connected with your AMF, your AUSF is connected with your AMF and UDM. So here the main fact is that the first question comes in our mind. What is what AUSF does? AUSF supports 5G authentication and authorization procedures. Okay. AUSF plays a vital role in verifying their identity and ensuring that they have the proper authorization to access the network means amf we have discussed yesterday as well or in the last session as well so amf is taking the request for any user equipment to connect with the network so what amf does ams forwarded these details to ausf and ausf has a responsibility to verify these identities or these data of the user equipment right AUSF interacts with the other networks or other network functions also. Like you can see here with the N13 interface, it is also connecting with your UDM. Okay. With the help of N12 interface, it is connected with your AMF as well. Okay. So now we are going to discuss about some basic functionalities of your AUSF. So here you can see the first and very important one is your authentication. It performs authentication by verifying the subscriber's identity and checking whether they have the proper credentials to access the network. It means when we are just, you can see with this diagram, this is just for a reference. This is your RAN part. Okay. You can see, and it is also connected with your AMF. So what? is happening ue is asking for connect with the network this is our core network right so amf is further connected with your ausf so what ausf does ausf takes some mandatory details from the amf for the ue and ausf verifies these details with the help of udm which is unified data management where each and every detail of any subscriber or any user is stored. It is like HSS in your LTE. Okay. In LTE, it was HSS. So authentication is a process, is a part of functionality of your AUSF, right? So next point is your authorization. After authentication, the authorization process happens. Okay, how it happens? It happens by checking whether the subscriber has the appropriate authorization to access the specific network functions or services. Okay, so this is called your authorization. After that, you can see here the security context. As we have discussed in the last session as well, the security is much more enhanced if we compare with the 4G. Security is much more enhanced now. Right. So with the help of some security features like your we have discussed yesterday also that uh, the subscriber is using SUSI, uh, SUSI type of, uh, you know, encrypted type of 
communication right with the help of that susi they will be able to means your user will be able to find out the appropriate natro functions right so with the help of susi it can be verified with the help of utm and ausf so ausf is providing the security code in a security context as well so here you can see the mobility management is also a very important feature mobility management means your handovers and all right so as we have discussed yesterday as well amf is responsible for the mobility because our user is always keep on moving in particular area right so that time amf needs to update that ue as well for the proper and seamless connectivity so on that part as well AUSF is providing some support for the mobility management. So this is also a very important functionality of your AUSF. Next one is your subscriber data management. As you know that your AUSF is connected with your UDM as well, right? So with the help of UDM, it verifies the details of the UE. And with the help of that UDM, it always finds out the suitable or suitable thing for the user okay so with the help of UDM and AUSF the subscriber data management happen in the AUSF next one is your authentication and key management key agreement aka protocol okay so this is a very important one okay it supports aka protocol which is used for the mutual authentication between the subscriber and the network okay it provides a secure mechanism for exchanging keys and establishing a secure communication channel between subscriber and network so this is also a very important one okay so you can elaborate it in a much better way okay in the upcoming sessions we will make it possible okay next one is your subscriber privacy okay security protection is also enhanced right and enter interoperability so what is interoperability it supports interoperability between different 5g network elements and interfaces ensuring that the subscriber can access 5g services and application so this is called your inter interoperability okay so this is all for today this is the basic functionality we have discussed today for the AUSF Okay, so for soon we will be back with the next network function. Okay, by the time, thank you so much. And yes, please do subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest video updates from Technology World Channel. Thank you again.